now that we've learned how to make corner braces and how to give your sculpture a skin to finish it, I want to show you one more cool thing that you can do when you are building with cardboard or something else that's flat. You can try using these little things called paper fasteners. They sell them at office supply stores. Um, and if you don't have these, you could probably use a little piece of wire or some other thing that can poke through two layers of cardboard and you can make some moving parts. So here's how you're gonna do this. Um, you're gonna need your cardboard, of course, and you're gonna need something pointy to make a hole. We have these drawing compasses in school. They are very pointy, so please be careful with them. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna poke a hole in the thing that I want to move first, keep my fingers away from where the pokey thing is gonna come through, and kind of wiggle it around a little bit to make the hole big enough. Now I'm gonna take my other piece of cardboard and I'm gonna poke it through, wiggle it around a little bit. And now I'm gonna take the paper fastener and I'm gonna poke it through the hole. Okay, now I'm gonna take my other piece of cardboard, put it on top of that paper fastener, press it through. If you're having trouble with it, and ask for help. It's a little tricky. Okay, now this is the kind of, maybe the trickiest part. You have to unfold both of these sides of the paper fastener. And now you have a part that moves. And there's tons of stuff that you can do with this one handy dandy little tool. You can make a puppet with moving parts like this. You could make a clock. You could make um, eyeballs that turn around. You, there's so many things you can do. So get creative with it. And if you are at home, see if you can find any other materials to help you to make something with a moving part. It just has to be something that can stick through both these layers and hold them together, but not like super stuck. So a piece of wire is probably your best bet. If you can find um, a twist tie or another piece of wire, try it out and let me know if you figure anything out. Um, it posts in the comments so I can share your discoveries with other people. All right, good luck.